one Ford Mustang 5.0 five speed LX Coupe. If you were in high school in the 90s, this was the car to have. These cars would just beat on the LT1, you know, as far as Camaros of the day. Uh, this is pre LS. So they had a fighting chance, you know, as far as uh, they were a ton of fun. They only had 215, 225 horsepower stock. Back then, you put a letter cam like a Ford Racing, like a B cam, would be the money to do. And it would sound freaking good. I mean, you could put a B cam, off road H pipe, Flowmaster exhaust, dumped or tailpipes, didn't matter. Do like 373 gears, get you like a, a hearse shifter. A lot of people just cut the factory shifter down to make it a shorter throw. And they were literally the most fun that you could have in a car at that point in time. The weakest link in them was the transmission, and eventually you would start breaking those. Other than that, I mean, it was stoplight to stoplight. I mean, you, you literally could not beat these cars. Uh, Chevy didn't have anything for them. Dodge didn't have anything for them. Nobody had anything for them. When I was in high school in the 90s, this was the current 68 Camaro of the time. So, uh, this was the coming into its prime hot rod. As far as you had the, I mean, a lot of people, you know, the one I had in high school had a uh, monster tack and what, whatever on there. You know, I had a uh, NOS dry kit on it. And honestly, as far as, I don't think there's anything more fun than that. Uh, you know, as far as by today's standards, these cars aren't fast. But back then, there wasn't anything they could mess with. And that's what made them so fun. You could just beat on them. You could bang gears. Have fun, spin the tires, do a burnout, go race, and that's what I believe made these. I mean, there's like a cult like following with these cars. You know, as far as everybody remembers these cars because you either had one and you beat people with it, or uh, you got beat by one. One or the other. I mean that was that was the way it was. Or had something you, you raced it you got beat then you went and tried to talk your parents into or whoever you know and let you have a 5.0 Mustang and that that was where it was born that's where it's still been now of course you know today uh, m most of them are at the racetrack yeah. you know as far as they uh, you can't, as far as a drag race style chassis from out of the box factory, I don't think anything's better than the box body. Yeah. Like it has a factory four link, triangulated four link, but it, it works. You have struts in the front, it works. You know, as far as like, if you look at a modern day, the baddest, you know, door car on the planet, it has strut front end and a four link in the rear little bit different than this but you could buy this car like that now did Ford plan that no this was a budget car it was not a high-end car it was not fancy uh, if you had power windows and locks you were doing good very few of them had leather you know all the Cobras and stuff I'm pretty sure I uh, know there was some tweak go off here and there but these cars sold the whole time they were being made between ten and fifteen thousand dollars that's all they were, I mean, they were a budget car. Uh, literally, if you were uh, a student or whatever, you could afford $170 a month to have a brand new Mustang and have a V8 in it, have a five speed. Some of them came with, uh, as far as four speed automatics, you know, three speed with an overdrive. We called them slush boxes because they were just. Uh, they didn't run as good, and that transmission in factory form was, it was not performance. So, but if you couldn't drive a, uh, if you couldn't use a clutch, you could get one and you could still have fun. So, I mean, 
Uh, it's my overall opinion after driving performance vehicles for 30 years is that there's nothing more fun than the 5.0 Fox Body Mustang. I mean, there you just can't beat it. Can can we outrun it for sure by these standards? You can go get a brand new Mustang uh, off the car lot right now, and it will it will stretch this car out. It won't even be a race. But I still don't think it is as much fun. And it probably was more fun back then whenever it was competitive. So we're still beating around on it and whatever, and you knew there wasn't much that could mess with you on the street, especially if you had nitrous or you know as far as the other go-to the turbos weren't popular back then so you either had a dry a dry nos system or you had a vortex s trim now everybody that didn't have a vortex s trim wanted one it's not saying it outperformed the nitrous but it sounded freaking awesome yeah. but that was what i would say quote unquote the rich kids their parents could buy them, you know, as far as that kit was $3,000 plus dollars in an NOS dry kit back then, was you could get you could catch them on sale and they would be less than 400 bucks and you'd have nitrous on your car. And it would it would add just as much power as that S3 out of the box or more. Actually, as far as out of the box, if you peeled it all the way up, you would outrun an S3, but it didn't sound as cool as the S3. This car, uh, it, it came in, uh, unsure about the, the motor that was in it when it came in. Uh, right now, uh, he had a, a 363 cubic inch Ford, Ford racing engine. And he already had an existing uh, Vortex supercharger on it. We transferred all that over to the new motor that's in it right now. And then that's what we did it still has a five speed in it yeah i mean this is a really cool car this thing uh the the 62,800 miles that are on the odometer i'm willing to bet with this car that's original like this car's pretty nice so um yeah every, everything about this car is awesome i mean as far as now will it run with uh today's stuff no it is vintage it is cool I like it, you know, as far as would it be faster if, if you had a coyote swap and a blower or a turbo or whatever, yes, it would be faster. But this this is just, this is pretty cool as far as I, I like driving this car. I mean, it has AC. Uh, the uh, street manners are great. You know, power, you have all the cre creature comforts uh, that you had when this car was brand new. You know, yeah. So, it's an awesome car.